curse of the exploding chompy. Chomps had come back from her holiday, but our relationship was spoiled. She'd obviously shagged loads of dudes, and she looked a little soiled. However, I'd come to the conclusion I'd fuck Flaffle and Chomps too. Tell them both that I'm in love, knowing in each case it's just not true. And for about a week or so, I had each girl in bed. I two-timed them quite stupendously, till karma reared its ugly head. Because things were about to all go wrong in the Chomps and Flaffle caper. And all because Chompy wanted to pick up some wrapping paper. See, I'd been out watching football, but Chomps was coming round to mine. If I hadn't forgot my fucking key, things would have worked out fine. Because in the meantime, I'd had a Flaffle text to say she was on her way. But then my phone went and died on me. So I didn't get to say not to bother coming round as I'd been locked out. Plus, I couldn't have her over with chomps hanging about. So I thought I'd break in through my window to get in and make the calls. But in the process, lost my footing and smashed my fucking balls right onto the window pane. The one over which I had just climbed. And this horrific fucking accident was really badly timed. Because as I looked at my swollen sack, chomps began to knock repeatedly on the front door. The one I'd wished I hadn't locked. The same stupid goddamn fucking door that caused me to have this mishap. So I answered it and let her in so she could collect her fucking gift wrap. But I knew Flaffle was on her way so told Chomp she had to go. Because I really didn't want to meet in my other fucking hoe. Ten minutes later Flaffle came. By now my ball bag had got worse. Oh you poor thing said Flaffle. It's lucky I'm a nurse. It's true that Flaffle was a nurse. And after she gave my nuts a poke, prescribed a bottle of scotch to me and three fat lines of coke. This prescription did in fact ease the pain and I even shagged Flaffle that same night. But when I woke up in the morning, I knew that something wasn't right. The pain was unbelievable. Plus, I was horrified to see where once I had two nice balls, I now had fucking three. I've got more balls than you. I never, in my worst nightmares, could have ever thought I'd be trying to sell this story to the fucking Daily Sport. I spoke to Nikki at the news desk, but she seemed a bit aloof. She said she liked the story, but that she'd be needing proof. So I took a load of photos of my three balls as they were swinging, sent them to the Daily Sport, who I presumed would soon be ringing. But all they did was ring and say the photos were null and void as they couldn't print men's genitalia in a national tabloid. I was pretty gutted about this and had the fucking hump, so I phoned up fucking Flaffle and told her she was dumped. I mean, I couldn't fuck her anyway, and her personality was shit. I thought Chumps could nurse me back to health, plus she had nice tits. I couldn't fuck Chumps either, but I let her move back to my flat. I didn't love her like before, plus she'd started to get fat. For about six months, I had three balls. Well, two and a hematoma. If my brains were really in my nuts, I'd be in a fucking coma. Luckily, they gradually began to slowly heal. To have three balls is unbelievable, but believe me, it was real. By now, I didn't love my chumps. She'd changed a lot since I first met her. Lucky for me then, I guess, that I'd started to get better.